Hi everybody, it's Don and I hope you're having a great week and I hope you're going into a fantastic weekend and have a lot of fun activities planned. Today's video uh, was a requested video from one of our subscribers and they want me to talk about the old ship that's a new ship based on an old ship that's coming this year. If you're confused, well, it can be, but it's one of the most unique stories about cruising that you just don't understand, yet sounds awesome at the same time. So we're going to talk about that right after this. So this story is about the Titanic and no, you know me, I'm pretty positive on this channel. I don't want to go into what happened with the Titanic because uh, that's pretty much ancient history as far as cruise ships are concerned, but uh, it served as a big warning and a lot of safety things came from that tragedy. But a gentleman back in 2010 by the name of Clive Palmer, He's a billionaire based in Australia who decided he's going to build a replica of the Titanic, call it the Titanic II, and start sailing her. And at first thought, the Titanic is the most famous historical maritime disaster out there. Who would want to sail on that ship? Well, at least that's what I thought. And then I heard people have been lining up to board this cruise ship. So let's go over this cruise ship a little bit. It's going to be a little bit larger than the original, but the design is exactly the same. The reason it's a bit larger, the Titanic was around 44,000 tons. This one's going to be around 56,000 tons. First of all, it's going to be a little bit wider because maritime laws and standards for ship safety have changed dramatically since the first Titanic and so they have to uh, go with nowadays standards and don't worry even though you're gonna see pictures of the the uh, bridge and things like that it's not the old turnstile those are just set pieces on the ship so people can see what the bridge would have looked like back then and then the deck above will have the real bridge with all modern electronics modern satellite systems it's going to have all the safety that is on any modern cruise ship and uh, it's going to be riveted uh sorry welded instead of riveted like the titanic was uh riveted at the time and the new ships are welded so Lots of safety is going to be there. It's not going to be built exactly like the old ship, so you don't have to worry about that kind of thing. And in fact, somebody even asked me, are they only going to have, are they, if it's such an exact replica, are they only going to have a certain amount of lifeboats on board? And no, don't worry, there's going to be enough lifeboats. In fact, by law, every cruise ship has to have enough lifeboats to carry every passenger, and every crew member times 50%. So there has to be more than enough lifeboats for everybody on the ship, plus another half a ship. So you don't have to worry about those kind of things as well. It's just going to look like the other ship. The feel is gonna be there, and so much is being painstakingly recreated on this ship that even the cabins are based on what the cabins looked like back then. So if you're expecting big screen TVs and marble countertops and big huge bathrooms and everything, yeah, you're going to guess again. These are going to be exactly like they would have been back then. And they're sticking to such a cult system that back then there used to be, if you've seen the movie Titanic, there were class systems. So you had first class in luxury or more accommodations and then you went all the way down to third class in steerage which was below decks and they're going to hold true to that tradition based on what cabin category you're booking and they're keeping it so authentic that if you book a first class cabin you are so segregated from anybody in third class 
They say you will probably never run into a single person from third class during the entire time of your cruise. How long they stick to that, I don't know, uh, but it sounds interesting in this day of everybody's equal and everybody shares everything to have somebody boasting that they're going to have a class system on their cruise ship. So I thought to myself, all right, it's already got a name with it. It's already kind of cursed with that name. Who in their right mind would want to sail on this cruise ship? And the original Titanic voyage was from Southampton to New York. New York. That was originally the plan. But back in 2014 to 2016, they started running into a little bit of trouble with finances and things like that. It's back on board and everything expected to launch this year, but now where it's based, it's going to be going from China to, to Dubai will be its maiden voyage. And who would want to sail on this cruise, you ask? Well, people have actually offered $1,200,000 for a stateroom on this ship and not just one numerous offers that's how many people want to experience this cruise ship kind of makes you think well, some people just have way too much money on their hands a million two hundred thousand dollars you can cruise around the world five times six times in luxury but nope they're gonna go on a short 10-day excursion on a classic ship based on an old ship so I guess it's uh, all depends on your point of view, but uh, it is going to be something to behold. And I imagine as the time gets closer and closer to watch the ship actually set sail and the first pictures start coming in because right now they're keeping it very much under lock and key. Only a few pictures have been released and they're, they're just basically hull designs, but it's going to be interesting to see if this kind of cruise ship with Blue Star Cruise Line, that's the name of Palmer's uh, cruise line, is going to be able to sustain a, enough people wanting to sail on this authentic cruise ship. If it was a normal cruise, I might take a shot at it with normal money, but yeah, the first year or so, it's not gonna be normal money. It's going to be crazy money thrown at that thing. And what do you get for all that is you get older cabins based on the way things were and they're going to be so authentic in the design that they're going to have separate dining areas depending on what class cabin you have and you're going to be eating with only people from those cabins as well and they're going to give you period clothing when you board the ship to enhance the experience. And I don't know how well that's gonna work because if I'm down in steerage with the poor people, does that mean I'm gonna be dressed in rags and something like that and then there's gonna be somebody else in furs and diamonds and am I gonna stand out that much? I don't know. It's gonna be so cool and so weird to see in this day and age. So stay tuned for more on the Titanic 2. Let me know down below, would you sail on a ship named the Titanic, especially on its maiden voyage, like the original? Sounds kind of risky to me, but I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And until next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.